So hello guys, welcome back to new episode, Suji here, starting this episode right where we left, I just started killing my first dragon actually, so yeah, uh, quickly though before I start, uh, I wanted to point out, I guess in case you didn't notice, what do you guys think about my new Arasan, I told you guys that Iron Suji was only temporary because I couldn't think of a good name when I actually made the account, so I had this one, you know, in my mind for quite a while, I actually, you know, was uh, wondering which one I should put on my Aras Free Hardcore, was it Salty Devo or Suji side? So I ended up keeping this one for old school, I guess. So yeah, I really, really like this name. Let me know what do you guys think. But yeah, uh, talking about the episode though, so I I bought myself a 7k plus casts. I think this should be more than enough for 59 magic. So obviously... Yeah, I guess let the grind for magic begin. I'm not gonna record any in between levels, so I guess I see you guys in the. Yeah, when I get 59 magic, and I will show you guys how many dragon bones I have. Dragon bones and, uh, you know, blue dragon hides I have collected then. So see you guys in just a second. So in the end, it actually was enough cast that I bought, guys, because. There we go, we are coming in with magic level 59 and we can now cast fire blast obviously which is due requirement obviously for the family quest because we do need to cast all four elemental styles for that demon or something like that but uh, yeah anyways nice level to get so now I guess uh, I will quickly, you know, kill a few more dragons so I don't waste, you know, this uh, remaining inventory space. So I will fill up this inventory with bones and hides and I will quickly teleport to bank so, uh, you know, we can see how many bones and how many hides I did in fact get in total. So be right back. Okay, and there we go, I killed my last dragon, so there we go, let's pick it up, let's leave this one on the grind, goodbye, on the ground, goodbye, I mean, and... Before I do open the bank, take a guess guys, how many bones do you think I got in these 6k casts? So, drumroll please, and boom, there we go, let's bank so we can, you know, properly see the amount. So, 174 dragon bones and 165 bla blue dragon hides, which will be crafted and elked in the future once I do have that level. Also got few of these drops which are not really anything special but yeah I got this method spear I picked it up because I do remember that you need some kind of spear for type who one eye quest or something like that so that will be you know helpful for the future other than that though I guess we only need to where is the quest I guess we can you know double check just to be sure uh, family craft where is it? Family crest, there we go. So yeah, we only need to finish off 40 crafting and 40 smithing and then we are eligible to, you know, to go ahead and complete the quest. I don't think I actually gave an update for that, but if I can show you guys, yeah, there we go. I sp uh, I spent some time buying supplies one morning, so I managed to buy myself almost 1.4k molten glass supplies. So uh, this is around... 30 or 40k crafting XP even from just from making these you know to molten glass itself so anyways as I said I'm gonna go ahead and knock these two to 40 quickly and we will go ahead and complete family crest okay and if we can do a few more this should be 40 crafting guys so there we go 40 crafting coming in we can now enter the crafting guild and make ruby necklaces so yeah beautiful now i need to get myself 40 smithing and we will be good to go but i will only get myself 39 because you can actually boost that one level with dwarven stout and you know west guide says that that level is boostable so i have no idea how to train that you know how to get that smithing xp though even though i only need like 6k smithing xp but i honestly have no idea how to get it okay you guys so there we go we should be able to complete the quest right now so there we go one quest point steel gauntlets and a skill in view for the count what the, what the fuck is that anyways we can now go go ahead and get ourselves cooking a gloves but actually funny story about this quest i am so freaking retarded like officially so i went you know to kill the demon right i killed the demon it dropped the crest right and after it died it uh, you know dropped ashes as well so you know i went you know i clicked like like you know my with my left click to pick up the crest but ashes were you know i guess the first option so 
Uh, I clicked and I instantly, you know, uh, clicked teleport out. So I fucking picked up the ashes and I teleported out. That's just so fucking retarded. I have no idea how I managed to fail like that. But anyways, now as you know, as I said, I'm gonna finish. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna, you know, clean these cooking gloves and now I will either go cook myself all the raw lobsters that I have. I actually can show you guys how many I have right now. Or I will move on with the other quests actually because first of all let's see the lobster so yeah I have 4.5k raw lobsters which is not bad at all it should give me around 65 cooking or 66 cooking I was you know calculating earlier but other than that now what I want to do next is I actually told you guys before I want to complete Swan Song simply so simply because I want to you know be able to go ahead and AFK monkfish instead of lobsters right now so where is the quest let's double check so yeah there we go Swan Song we need to get ourselves 45 smithing, 62 cooking, and 66 magic. So, uh, none of these skills are really hard to get, I guess, other than those skills, though, I need to complete one small favor and Garden of Tranquility. To complete one small favor, I'm pretty sure you need Shiloh Village, and actually one more small favor will be really, really good at me. This is this is going to be pretty much two birds with one stone for me, because I will get those two lamps 10k HP each, and you can put those lamps on whatever, you know, skill level you want, so I will put those on Herblore, and I finally will be able to get rid of these two lamps and put them on Herblore. So, yeah, that is the plan for now. I'm not sure what I will, you know, start doing first, but I guess I will be back in just a second and you know I will give you guys an update okay so I decided to continue on with doing the quest so if I can use this one on here this will be Shiloh village quest completed actually so yeah there we go Shiloh village quest completed two quest points 3.9k crafting XP this is actually amazing so drum roll please 41 crafting okay uh for some reason i was expecting a little bit more but anyway this is really really nice so now actually uh let's quickly double check so yeah we do have all the requirements for one small favor so unless i need some kind of item which i don't actually have and i need to grind out i should be back with the uh, one small favor in just a second okay and after freaking two hours i think if not even more we are finally coming in with this stupid freaking quest. This was pretty darn horrible without the stamina potions, I'm not gonna lie. But actually, you know, in the end, it is definitely worth it. Because there we go, guys. One small favor is completed. Two quest points, two reward lamps, giving 10k XP each. And God, if I'm fucking wrong about this, I think I should be able to put them on Herblore. Oh my god, you have got to be freaking kidding me. Why did I think I can put them on Herblor? I will have four fucking Herblor lamps now. This is so bad. Oh my god, I need to look up things because I'm fucking screwed with this Herblor crap. Okay, so honestly, I am as fucked as I can be with this situation. I completely messed up, I'm not gonna lie. So I used up all my guams and it managed, you know, to... I managed to boost my Herblore up to level 20 now. I can now clean Herolanders, but the thing is I need obviously to get at least level 30. And level 30 is, I don't know how much XP, what is 27? Okay, so I, th I think I need something like 10k Herblore XP, which is fucking horrible honestly but yeah so I looked up the quests and few quests give like I think I can do like three quests that give me Herblor XP but they only give me like 5k and after that I have no idea what I'm supposed to do because I really really want to use these lamps on Herblor because like that was the main reason why I was you know keeping these two lamps in the first place because I could have used them on crafting or smithing I guess but you know I wanted to save them but yeah, anyways, I think I will either go and go do those quests that give me small amount of Herblore XP and after that I guess I will have to figure something out or, you know, I guess I'll just have to play with these lamps in my inventory for like 100 years. Okay, and there we go for Shades of Morton quest completed, guys. So yeah, as I said, this one gives 2k Herblore XP, so 3 quest points, 2k crafting, 2k Herblore. Let's close this window up and... Okay, we do get free levels and, you know, from this quest, I guess, and now we do have that option to make the 
Ser uh, Serums 207, so I guess I will be able to get some more extra herbal XP from I think because I have like 20 plus terraments in my bank. Other than that, I still can do Zogger Flesh Eaters, I think the quest is called that gives 2k herbal XP as well. And there is one more, but I don't remember which one it is. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, I think use up those terraments that I have in my bank and then we'll see, you know, how, uh, how much exactly herbal XP we are guys missing. Okay, so I have to seem I seem to have worked out the problem is what I'm trying to say. So in the meantime, I actually, you know, decided I would go and complete some more quests because I'm actually waiting for my herbs to grow. Uh, but yeah, there we go, I guess for Ghost Ahoy, I was, you know, supposed to complete this quest sooner than later. Anyways, because, you know, we need to crush those bones to bone meal so we can actually get our prey or up. Uh, and obviously ectopial is necessary for this uh, stuff and just you know overall ectopial is an amazing thing to obtain for me right now because you know I can finally you know teleport to this place and whatnot easily but uh, yeah two quest points ectopial oh and 2.4k prayer XP that is actually pretty nice that's like 10 dragon bones so it's you know definitely useful so yeah we actually get 25 prayer I think I was 18 so that's 7 prayer levels boost right there but anyways uh, what I have decided to do about the herb lore situation is I actually you know am planting herb seeds right now and I will just grow myself some herbs and get my herb lore up simply because I have a lot of ter well not a lot I have some Turman and Harrowlander seeds from Winter Todd and you know once I do grow those up I don't even need to grow all of these up I will be able to make them to the serum 207s and then the energy potions and that will easily give me 30 herb lore and then I will finally be able to get rid of these lamb but for now uh, until the herbs are growing and until I will get this herb lore you know crap completed I guess I will go ahead and crush my bones then get my prayer up I think and then go do some cooking so you know I can you know move on with my plants and forget this herb lore situation ever happened okay you guys so if we can skip through this dialogue this should be Black Knight's Fortress quest completed, so it's beautiful. Three quest points, 2.5 KGP, but yeah. Anyways, I completed this one actually because I want to go ahead and complete recruitment drive for uh, the 1k Herblor XP. And now actually that I completed this quest, I just realized that I probably won't even be able to start recruitment drive because... You need to enter, you know, like to start it, I think you need to have no items in your inventory and I completely forgot the fucking lamp. So anyways, I think I will go ahead and try to start it anyways, but if I can't start it, I guess I'm fucked. Okay, so it wouldn't let me start recruitment drive. I was correct about the lamps and so far it feels like this episode is a complete waste of time fuck's sake man not comp uh, not waste of time but the complete failures for me i guess that's what i was trying to say okay so i started another quest and if we can you know sp uh, spacebar through this dialogue as well i think this should be another quest completed and actually i did this one because it gives, according to Aras Wiki, it gives 1k experience in any skill of your choice and it does not require a level. So now we need to choose a favor in which house we want to get 20% favor. I think I'm gonna choose, choose Piscarillius simply because I remember when I did it on my main, you know, uh, you need like planks and stuff and whatnot and you need to fix those screens and I remember it took quite some time so I guess I will skip this part with this 20% and other than that one quest point 20% in Piscarilli's favor double gain for all uh, yeah double favor gain for all houses that's gonna be some amazing stuff when I actually you know uh, start doing Zaya I guess and other than that two antique lands so beautiful uh, I don't care what I use to ash, fuck it, fuck off anyways, and let's put it on Herblor. Yes, thank god we can put these, uh, we can at least put these ones, but there we go, and this should be 28 Herblor, beautiful, so uh, 20, uh, 30, uh, skill 30 has 13.3k XP, so I need 1.5k Herblor XP, that is so close, yet so far, fuck's sake man. 
Okay, and this will be another quest completed, guys, as long as I can find uh, King Arthur or whatever. But yeah, let me go for Merlin's Crystal this time. Six freaking quest points and Excalibur. But yeah, anyways, I think I got myself sorted out, guys. So I did this one actually because I want to complete Hero's Quest. Simply because Hero's Quest actually gives Herbal XP and it's not a lamp. It you actually, you know, you get that Herbal XP. So if I manage to complete Hero's Quest, I will be 30 herbal around i will be get you know i will be finally able to get rid of those lamps and you know i guess continue playing as a normal hardcore iron because i just have my you know mind around these lamps for so long now but yeah actually uh merlin's crystal was the, one of the requirements for hero's quest so if you can double check then you you know it now so yeah there we go guys i only need to get 50 free cooking and i will be able to do hero's quest so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and grind that one out and then i will be back with you know hero's quest and we will finally be able to move on Okay, so one more lobster, guys, and there we go. Coming in with 50 free cooking, we can now cook lava eel. So let's go ahead and knock out Hero's Quest now. Okay, so I do have all the items in my inventory already for this quest. So if we can obviously spacebar through this dialogue as usual, this should be Hero's Quest completed. And please, God, don't let, don't let me fail for the third time. So... Yeah, one quest point accessory heroes guild, a total of 29.2k spread over 12 skills. And with this obviously lovely picture, uh, it reminds uh, me that, you know, I can actually buy Dragon Battle Axe from this guild, which will save me, you know, uh, strength potions and whatnot. But anyways, let's close this interface and let's see what levels we are going to be getting from this quest. So 48 strength, 41 defense, 46 attacks. What the fuck? 13 range i did not you know remember i guess that it gives range xp but yeah 29 herbal energy mix 53 mining and that is it for now but uh herbal wise we are 150 xp away so i do have the remaining you know uh quests uh, not quest herbs in my backs uh, bank so let's quickly finish off this level 30 herbal first of all guys Okay, so finally fixing our mistakes with it earlier, guys. There we go! Oh my god, no one's ever been excited that much for level 30 Herblor. Not as much as me at least, but yeah, we can now make defense potions as well as clean toad flags, but we don't give a fuck about that, do we? So yeah, we have 30 Herblor now, so take a guess how many Herblor levels I will be getting from this guy. So that is flamp number one. That is lamp number two, that is lamp number three, and that is lamp number four. So definitely in the end, this was totally worth it, so drum roll please. And we have exactly 40 herblor, which means we got 10 freaking levels from this. We can now clean irids as well. This is freaking amazing. And now actually that I do have herblor plus 30, I think what I will do, not instantly, but in the long term, I will go ahead and try complete all the easy diaries simply because all of them obviously give 2.5k XP each in lamps. So that will, you know, boost my herblor up even more. But other than that, now that we have inventory empty, I guess what I want to do right now is where is my tab I can show you guys yeah there we go I have 165 dragon bone meal and I do have all these slimes as well in here so let's go ahead and use those up and I think I have just around enough for level 43 prayer so let's go ahead and get it and we will be concluding this episode okay so this seemed to have worked out pretty well I guess but yeah without any overdo let's use these last nine bones that I have and we will end up you know having level 40 for prayer beautiful so we can now i guess use eagle eye and look at all these 16 prayers nicely unlocked but yeah uh, as i said i feel like you know if, if you know this uh, aside those derps with herblore i feel like i did you know in the end this episode was definitely worth it and it came out to work out just fine i guess i did not miss out on getting 70 agility to use that shortcut to get 59 magic voya blue dragons because you know with these dragon bones we did in fact get ourselves actually level 44 prayer even though i was hoping to get at least 43 but i guess you know 44 is definitely even better but uh yeah anyways uh so as i said i will conclude episode that this on this note 
really happy about the outcome of this episode as, as I said but yeah uh, we did f complete family quest as well and it, we did start work uh, to start working on the swan song so for the next episode hopefully I will be able to complete swan song fully and as well I will surely try you know start working on monkey madness actually what is it let's quickly check monkey madness one yeah, we only need to complete Grand Tree and Grand uh, Tree Gnome Village, so uh, those both of these quests are extremely easy. So you know what? For the next episode, actually, I will try to complete Swan Song and I will try to complete Monkey Madness as well. But other than that, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hope you guys had a good laugh for you know at me failing with those lamps. And I will see you in the next episode as usual. Take care.